What's going on, everyone? Metalblade427 here, and I present to you Paper Mario. Let's dig a hole in this ground. Woo, because we need to go plant the bean that we got from the last episode. Yes, in the last episode of What a Game, we ran around and did a bunch of fetch quests for various flowers here in Flower Fields. We collected three items that we desperately needed in order to go and save the Honorable Star Spirit. We got the Magical Bean, which should grow into a giant stalk in order for us to get high into the clouds. But it can only do that by sucking in nutrients from the fertile soil. Smells really good, I bet. And then, of course, when the bean is in the ground, in the soil, we have to water it with the Miracle Water because it is very cold and it glitters in the sun. Unfortunately... There is no sun, and even though we have these three components in order to be able to make the bean stalk, we're missing a very important piece that makes all plant life grow. The sun! As Yes, it is still cloudy and gloomy here in Flower Fields, and no matter which one of the plants that we ran around to in order to talk and help us out and whatnot, not really any of, us, any of them gave any type of helpful information about the sun itself. However, there is still one path that we need to go. We were able to go ahead and collect the various berries that were here. Red, yellow, blue, and now we have bubble berries, because I guess the word purple did not fit here, so they just called them bubble berries. So, going this way, we do have the plant that is right here, shooting out all of the little bubbles. It's pretty nifty like that. It's a, it, it talks to us. It will talk to us, even though I don't see a mouth and I don't see eyes or anything like that, but it wants... Uh, what is that? It's a bubble plant. If you give me a bubble berry, he will blow a bubble. I don't exactly know where we're putting it. We're putting it in that little cone thing, I guess? Are the bubble berries made out of, like, soap and this thing is just breathing out? Maybe? Possibly? Oh, what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Oh. Now that's impressive. SpongeBob and Dumbo would be very happy with those workings, my friend. And what's good about these bubbles is they are very, very strong because we can jump into it and we get blown whoosh right across the spikes. And that's how we generally uh, get past this area. Look at the bazap! Get away! Oh. Hey, it's a new enemy! Look at that! Look at him all the way back there behind the bazaps. We have a Grim Magikoopa. Because it's you know, supposed to be green, but instead we just run GURN! This is a green Magic Koopa. He's one of the magicians in the Koopa clan. I have to admit, I like those green robes. Very cool. You've said that about every robed Koopa so far, Mumbario. Max HP 11, attack power 3, defense 0. He can magically increase the defense power of others. He looks pretty surly. Yeah, I guess so. So we've seen now three colors of Magic Koopa. We've seen the red ones, which increase attack. We've seen white ones, which heal everybody. And we've seen green ones, which increase defense. I know there are black ones, and I, I think there are blue. I don't remember for sure. Um, and then yellow somewhere as well. Did we see yellow? I don't remember. Why don't we just go ahead and multi-bounce these guys, because the bazaps are really the most important thing that I want to get rid of here. Oh, that really didn't work out anywhere near like I wanted to. Oh, ow. Okay, fine, fine. You're going to increase that guy's defense, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, I hate you. Okay, so, um, uh, did a head bonk? You. Bonk. Bonk. Very good. You can go away. And it actually really doesn't matter, because even if I just do a power jump or any other type of jump, you're still going to escape, because you Magic Koopas are cowards. Nobody left on the field to protect you? Run away. I mean, they don't give a bad amount of experience. I think he would have given me three star points at this uh, point in the game in order to, uh, you know, just to show me what type of, how leveled I am and whatnot. But as long as there's nobody else on the field, peace out. Now we're going to jump up here and we're going to go into a very interesting point. Um, you come over here to this log and you may think that you have to walk on top of it and whatnot, but you can't quite make it. No, you got to walk through it. And what happens is it folds up. It's a funny little effect, at least I think so, because you're still in the log. It's supposed to be surrounding Mario. It just lifts up to show you, hey, hey, Mario's inside the log. Like, there's no way for me to jump out of the log from here. So, I don't know. It just To me, it's an interesting little thing that they throw in there, because it's like... It's not like I can branch off onto any paths here. It's one shot. Like, there's nothing wrong with just having it stay uh, invisible. And I can pretend I can even jump through it. That was pretty interesting. Anywho, over this way we do have a star piece that I did not want to pass up. You probably saw that on my way in. And then over yonder we have another lifting log. So let's go ahead up that way. Because, you know, there's just so many different paths I can take outside of that log. 
And then over here we got, oh, we got a Lakitu in the sky. Better avoid that guy while you can. Um, the only way you can get rid of that Lakitu, of course, is by making contact with him. And because he's so high up in the air, that's a lot easier said than done. Uh, if you do get touched by any of the spinies, you just get into a battle with the spinies themselves, not the Lakitu. So don't think about going and touching those that you'll be able to fight him. However, we do have a... Actually, I'm going to drop it right here. There you go. See, right there? Got a nice, cool badge. New, uh, neat new badge for us to pick up. So why don't we get out our little pink bomb, come over to this rock, and chuck her at it. Go ahead, Bombad. Do what you do best. Boom! And even though you didn't really see anything, because, you know, there's flowers covering white, it did reveal a... Come on. There we go. A little hole that uh, falls down into here. And boom, we get the Mega Smash. This is like your upgrade from the Super Badges. So, you know, I have... I think I have Super Smash and I have Super Jump of sorts, or Power Bash and Power Jump. Like, so the powers. So now I have Mega. So this is like a huge amount of attack power within the hammer as a badge. I may equip that a little bit later just because it is really useful. But for right now, I'm pretty good with just my Quake Hammers and whatnot. Now we come to this castle-like thing all the way at the end of Flower Fields. And I'm just going to let you guys listen to the background music while I go walk around this way. I like the background music here. I wish that the whole area had the same type of, like, I don't know. It's a very cool western-y style uh, sound to it. And it's just ah, it's so, so interesting and weird that it's, like, here. But... On top of the castle that we had, we needed to blow up that rock down there in order to reveal the pathway to go on up. We happen to find, hey, look at this, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, get back up in the sky. Hey, hello. I never thought anybody would come all the way up here. I'm the sun. No, that's not entirely true. I should say I was the sun. Clouds that came out of the Puff Puff machine that often Puff built. Those clouds kept me from climbing into the sky. He's very overdramatic, by the way. I'm a complete failure as a sun. All of those flowers and plants and flowered fields are suffering. Well, we can destroy the thing if you know where it is. Where is it? You mean the Puff Puff machine? I think it's east of here. The clouds seem to come from over there, anyway. Why do you want to know? Do you think you can break the Puff Puff machine? Nah, there's no way. Don't strain yourself. You might as well go home. Really? Really? We have a depressed sun. This is what we're being thrown at in this game? I mean, okay, I understand the whole seasonal depression thing where if you spend too much time indoors and don't get your efficient vitamin C, I'm sorry, vitamin D, because that's what you give, um, then you get all sad and lonely. But you are the freaking sun! You are made of vitamin D and light and all kinds of stuff. Oh, man. Come on, Bombat, let's get out of here. I I've had enough of all this dull light coming from a sun. Come here, Gubario. I actually want you to follow me right now. So we need to go and we need to beat up the Puff Puff machine in order to get rid of the clouds this way the sun can actually get out of the sad state that he's in and, you know, come and help everybody. I mean, he's in a vital, important role to Flower Fields. Without him, everyone kind of just wilts up and goes away. Oh, look at this. We have some more things. Hey, hey, hey. Hold up. Wait, man. What was that? Hello? Oh, it's a Lakitu of sorts. Hey, you got some pretty cool glasses on there, buddy. Hey, man. I don't think we've ever met, have we? I mean, you're Mario, right? My name is Lack of uh, No, it's Michael. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Spike. Yeah, yeah, I'm Spike. Yeah. Well, whatever, man. Whatever. Never mind. Look, I don't have a problem with you personally, but I've got orders from Huff and Puff. Sorry, man, but I gotta give you a bit of a beatdown. Like I said, man, sorry. Eh. Sound cool? Ha! Yeah, totally cool. Hey. Here it comes, man! And we get ourselves into a little bit of a boss fight right here with uh, this interesting floating Lakitu. He definitely looks different from the others. Let's see what uh, Gumbario has to say about him. His name is Spike with a question mark. And Tilt? He said his name is Spike. He seems to be a Lakitu, but he's, seen, but he's the weirdest one I've seen. 
Max HP 50, attack power 4, defense 0. He throws spiny eggs, and that's pretty much all he does. Is it just me, or did he call himself Spike, Michael, and Lacka Lester? What an odd guy. I have to wonder just what his real name is. I'm pretty sure that doesn't mean anything right now, Goombario, because we just need to go ahead and jump on this guy over and over and over again. Yeah, so... Lacka Lester, Spike, Michael, whatever you want to call him. I have going to be probably calling him multiple names throughout the course of this fight. Um, th th that's all he does. He sits there and he throws spinies at you. I mean, I could probably have just head bonked him over and over again and then jumped on him over and over again. But really, that's the long and the short of this battle. He's going to throw spikes at me and that that's it. I'm not even going to dodge this because I think, oh, it gives me one. Okay, I thought I had a little bit more defense to me, but that's all right. He doesn't do much damage, and even though he has 50 HP, it's really so, uh, going down pretty quickly, to say the least. He thinks he's like this big, bad threat to Mario, but truthfully, he's kind of a cloudy pushover. Do I have anything here I can use? Nah, might as well just stick with what I got. Yeah, and bonk! Very good. We'll keep charging with Goombario, because that's just like, the thing to do. And he's just gonna keep throwing spiny eggs at us. He doesn't even summon any spinies. You are a failure to your kind, my friend. Yeah! I think I am actually where I need to be with Kumbaya. So let's try this. Ready? Head bonk! Yeah! Perfect! Nine exactly. Bye, Michael, Spike, Black Lester, Cloud thingy. Oh, even the Cloud is upset. Man. Oh, oh man. They're as tough as nails. I don't give up, man. Oh, Go on. Do your worst. I'm not afraid of it. Do whatever you do to guys you've defeated. Fire flower to the eye. Power block, which actually wouldn't make any difference because I'm off the ground. Wait. Oh, it's another one that looks different. Oh, she's running a pink cloud. Actually, I guess this cloud would be like more of a bluish color compared to the white ones that we've seen, but oh, whatever. Oh, no. Lucky Lulu. No, please! Please have mercy on my poor sweet Lack Lester! Aw, oh, don't call me Lack Lester! It's Spike, remember? Or even Michael, or whatever name! I changed it last month! You know how this works! Come on, man! Hey! Man, I mean, gee whiz! They're always embarrassing me like this! Although, for some reason, it makes me like it even more! I mean, what? No, no, hey, yeah, did I say that out loud? Forget that I said that. Anyway, I lost a challenge, man to man, so we have to settle this. I have to face the music, man. Mario, please forgive him. I like Lester was just following Huff and Puff's orders. To forgive or not to forgive, that is the question. Which really, the answer will be to forgive. I mean, you, you could say don't forgive, but you're going to end up forgiving him anyway, so why don't we just be the nice plumber that we are and say, ah, don't worry about it, bub. Mistakes happen. Really? Oh, for real? You forgive him? Oh, thank you. Yeah, sure, why not? Stop calling me Lack of Lester. It's such a stupid name. My name is Spike. Spike, don't you ever listen to me? Hey. <sighs> Ah, uh, I'm beginning to think that this whole deal is stupid, man. I was working for Huff and Puff to be part of something big, man. But all I've been doing is picking part of the fights. This isn't what I wanted in life. What I wanted was... Hey, man, I got a question, eh? Hey. What in the world are you doing all this fighting for, eh? Hey. Even the cloud seems a little bit angry about that, so... You know, you, you can kind of answer any way you want. So, what are we fighting for? We are fighting for ourselves. We're fighting for world peace. We're fighting for no reason. Or, why Spike? Why? Spike is a million times cooler, man. Black Lester is the dumbest name ever. I don't know. I kind of like it, actually. It just doesn't fit the image of a dangerous rebel like me, man. The name doesn't matter, man. What matters is this. I decided I'm going with you. You're the real deal, eh? Traveling around with you has got to be as cool as it gets. Oh no, Lack of Lester, you can't leave me. Please take me with you. Aw, oh, Lack of Lulu, chill out, yo. You've got to understand, I'm doing this for you, don't you see? I'm going. I've got to be a man. 
or a turtle or whatever the hell I am on this cloud. Wait for me. I'll return as much more Lakitu. Much more manly Lakitu. Turtley Lakitu. Spiky Lakitu. Cloudy Lakitu. Whatever. Much more Lakitu. Oh. Oh, okay. I'll wait for you, Lacky Laster. But you'll be sorry if you don't come back to me in one piece. I swear if you make me worry, I'll take a spiny in. Okay, okay. Jeez. Enough of that. Hehehe. <laughs> I guess I better make sure I'm tougher than you by the time I come back, huh? See me off with a smile now. You're so much cuter when you show me those pearly whites on the pinky cloud. What? Okay, never mind. Bye for now. Alright, there we go. Lack of Lester, Spike Michael, because that's his full name, joined your party. Press C down to ride Lack of Lester, Spike Michael over the spikes and lava. While in battle, he can attack by throwing a spiny egg with his spiny flip ability. Or attack all enemies by throwing many spiny eggs at once with his spiny surge. So yes. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Oh, my lack Lester, come back to me soon. I'll be waiting with a smile. Both of us. Me in the cloud. Ah, oh, come on, man. Call me Spike. All right, buddy, let's go. So... Lack of Lester Spike on Mike's uh, ability here on the main... Uh, ooh, what's this? Oh, we get a shooting star! I almost completely messed that up. <laughs> you get it kind of mixed in with the flowers here. I wonder if that was here the first time I came through. And I just passed it up. Oh, whatever. So, like it said in the little description thing, we can hop on him and we can ride him around. He actually has an increased speed to Mario's movement. I want to say it's like 1.5 times the speed. So it's like, you know, moving from one end to the other with him on compared to us walking normally. It's almost actually, I think this still moves slightly faster. Whoa, get away! You know what, why don't I actually leave this in in order to show you guys a really quick uh, example of what Spike can do. So, as it was stated, he can do the spiny flip, which he throws the spike at an enemy, or he does spiny surge. I don't mind Spike. Spike is a very cool character to have. He's a little random to get at this point in the game, because I don't feel like he was really, like, that deep into the flower field story. It's just like, oh, I'm going to fight you. No, I don't want to fight anymore. I'm going to follow you. That was, like, the entire thing that just happened. So, it, it's weird the way that he comes about, but the moves that he gets are really good. So, we're going to use Spiny Surge, and I like it because it's an all-hitting attack. Anything that's all-hitting is more than okay in my book. It's oddly enough not going to kill everything, unfortunately, because he's still weak, but at least I'll be able to knock them down a little bit more, and then I can multi-bounce away. Oh, come on, there we go, bonk. And then, of course, the Gurg Magic Koopa is just going to run away from me. So, as Spike powers up, that move gets more and more useful. He also gets a bunch of other moves to him that enable him to uh, shield Mario from certain attacks, and I forget what his final thing is, his final ability, but we will get it more uh, sooner than later. Also, while you're riding on him, you're able to ride around on these little spike things here, you're able to ride around on lava, and you can get across various areas that you normally wouldn't be able to. So, he's actually a really cool partner. I've enjoyed using him more and more as I've gone through these games more and more times than I used to. Like, my initial playthrough of him, I thought he was actually kind of useless and pointless, but uh, I, I actually really, really like him a lot. And not only do I like him a lot, but he has the ability to get me something I really, really want. And that is exactly what we are going to do. Now we are going to go back to Toad Town. And I'm actually going to go and I'm going to heal up really quickly. And we are going to head back into the sewers. This is something that I guess most people don't realize that they can do the moment that you get you know, Black Lester Spike Michael on your team because it's just a side area to the sewers and it's like, he's here, you have him now, might as well go ahead and get as many things as you can from Mario in order to power him up that you can. It'll just make things significantly easier in the long run. So what we're going to do is after we're done taking our nap, very good, we're going to come over here, we're going to jump on spike a tester guy, whatever the hell you want to name him to be, and we're going to head on down to the sewers. But we're not going to take the sewer pipe entrance, we're going to go ahead and go the direction that Rip Cheeto was in, which I believe is right in here. Yep, there we go. So we can take this down, and... Um, what do I got? Uh, you know what, we'll, we'll deal with him on the way out. Maybe on the way back I'll uh, feed him some coins and whatnot, and then we can get some more items from him. I think I still have like five or six items that I need to obtain from him anyway. Let's go this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to head back to that section that had all of the spikes sticking up from the floor. 
which actually is right here. Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. That's one down. There's another one over here, so I, I might as well just be careful. Where is he? Come here. Come on. Oh, yeah, you are. Ah, there it is. Alright, there we go. That is everybody that I need to take out that is down here. Power block, why the heck not? Okay. Jumping on Lackaluster Spike Michael, we are able to come on over here and use him to get across these spikes. Then we can come to the, the pipe here, go on down, and we have a few more guys that we need to take care of while we are down here. I am actually going to switch over to... let's switch to Watt, because there's a bunch of enemies down here that Watt can easily take out because he pierces defense. Plus, now... There we go. Okay, I had remapped the button to actually. Oh no, I need that maple syrup. I need that maple syrup. I don't need a honey syrup. I can. Those are cheap. Those are crap. Um, I actually remapped the uh, the see down button to something else right now, so this way I don't have to worry about continuously screwing up pressing uh, the actual see down on the control stick and missing it and whatnot. Next item we have stopwatch. Very nice. And we have one more spiky spiny over here. Yes, he is. Ow. At least these guys are still giving me at least one star point apiece as I'm going through and killing them. Um, one coin and a vault room. Isn't that just wonderful? Crack that open! But that's not where our prize is. No! Oh, what? I so landed on him, not next to him. What a dirty tactic. Okay, so if you notice, we can't get to these blocks. They're way too high for us. And then even using what? We have even another item right here that we can't get to. Come on, let's go. That's better. But all of that is soon to change because we are about to go ahead and upgrade Mario's weaponry one more time. Using the power hammer that we got, or what is it, the ultra hammer? The ultra hammer. Boom, smashing that through. We come across a block that we can knock down. Anything else here? No. Let's jump up. Jump up. Thank you. And... In this chest, we find... Da -da 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 -da! You got the Ultra Boots! The attack power of Mario's jump increases! On top of that, you can now do a tornado jump by pressing A again while in the air. This move replaces the ground stomp, so instead of jumping up and down and landing on our butt, we do this! Whee! We get a little bit extra height, and then we, like, go right down to the ground really hard. So, normally we wouldn't be able to get this, because this is as high as we would jump, but with the new tornado jump we're able to easily hit it. So now those blocks that are out of reach of Mario are now able to be hit. We just gotta remember where uh, the invisible one is because we can't, you know, tornado jump with Watt in our hand, which I'm pretty sure it's just right here in between stuff. Ah, no! No, no, no! Just go away, Voltrum. I don't need you for anything at all. But come on, jump, jump. No, thank you. One more, and there we go, much better. Is that it? Anybody else? Anything? Anything? Nope. Cool. So yeah, so that is the ability that I needed. I wanted to get the better boots in order to build up Mario's uh, attack power. And then in addition to that, getting these better boots enables me to get a, uh, a, a badge right now that... Oh my god, this badge is like ridiculously helpful for the remainder of the game. Something that I wish I had a long, long, long time ago, but that's okay. I can now get it. So better late than never and whatnot. And jump! A shooting star, but I don't have anything. Man, throw this. Can I use up? Come on! Can I use something? Can I use. Let's use. I don't want to use. Let's use. Let's use this. Let's just get the berry. I don't know why I still have the berry. Grab the shooting star. I'm gonna actually eat the other berry, too. The berries are very easy to come back and get once I, uh, you know, finish flower fields, because the trees will always be there regardless. And I don't think they're really much use in uh, Taste Tea's recipes. A few of them call for them, but not really too many. Can I do... There we go. See, so you move a little bit to the side, and you bang, boom. This is actually the path that you would take in order to get to the Chapter 7 world, but the door up there is shut tight and locked, so it prevents you from actually going forward. So they did anticipate, the people that made this game, that you would come back here as soon as you got Lack of Lester Spike Michael in order to get the Ultra Boots, and they made sure that keep that locked so you don't, like, purposely go forward into the story without it knowing or without it uh, registering or whatnot. Moving into Rip Cheeto's section, let's talk to him a little bit and see maybe what else he's going to give us. What do you got, my friend? Yeah, 64 coins. He gives us a super shroom. All right, that'll go well with the mushroom that I just got. 
and let's do it again. What is going to give us? Nothing, because we are full on inventory, aren't we? Yes, I bet we are. Uh, yep, we have a lot of everything. Okay, so we'll come back to Rip a little bit later once I have a little bit more of a clear inventory. Um, with that set and done, let us go and get that badge that I really want to get. It is in uh, Merlin's house. Remember a few episodes back when we ran around that red tree in Dry Dry Desert and the toad there was all like, you're making me dizzy. I don't put much stock in the dreams. I remember if you did something, did a spin jump inside of a house with a spinning roof, something good would happen. Well, what we need to do is we need to go into his house and we need to use the new ability that we just got and spin jump or tornado jump or whatever you want to call it three times. So, uh, come on. One... Two and three from the sky falls. Huh? Oh, this badge is quick change. I had no idea such a useful badge was in my attic. Morio, you are a very lucky man. Yes, you should put this badge on. Yes, we should. Yes, we should. Yes, we will. You got the quick change badge. Changes your party members and attacks with it on the on that turn, which means it will not cost Mario a turn or a partner a turn in order to switch out so useful because like bosses are weak usually to the new characters that you get so like this uh, episode's boss lack of lester is actually pretty good in order to use with so i would like to go in with goombario do the tattle and then do a switch out next turn and then he's able to attack immediately so a uh, quick change is amazing and quick change is definitely something that is going to go on mario asap but we will have to worry about that in the next episode. Speaking of which, in the next episode, we will go back into Flower Field with our newly powered up ability, you know, our tornado jumps, so our uh, jump does more damage and all that other good stuff. We will go find some power blocks for Lack of Lester Spike Michael for him to get increased power on, and then we will go ahead and defeat the Puff Puff Machine. We'll smash it with our good hammer and our jumping skills. We will go and we will wake the sun up and tell him to get the hell into the sky, you lazy bum, and then we will climb up the beanstalk and beat the snot out of Huff and Puff. A lot of stuff happening in the next episode, so don't miss it. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate and comment down below, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427 Until the next time where we finish up Flower, Flower Fields, you guys have a good one, and I will catch you all later.